I've already shuffled, and we will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person, well we got the Eight of Pentacles and it's with the Ace of Pentacles. So this is telling me that the recent past energy between you and your person is that you could have felt like the connection underwent a new beginning, a fresh new start. And if this was not someone that you were involved with, this could have been someone new that came into your life. Because the Ace, it does indicate new beginnings. And you probably found that this person, it felt like they were really willing to invest in the connection. Because the Eight of Pentacles is about working really hard, being motivated, inspired. And that's how you made this person feel. You gave them a lot of motivation and inspiration to continue this connection or to just keep it going. Yeah, so you felt like this person was willing to put a lot of work into you or into the connection. They were inspired and motivated by you. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got this Five of Swords and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now this Five of Swords with this card, that's the card above the word present. That's the Five of Swords. It's an indicator of conflict and mixed feelings. So there could be some type of fight or maybe a disagreement or an argument that's coming up between you and your person. Yeah, and it's going to cause mixed feelings. You could have mixed feelings or they could start to have mixed feelings. And it's going to feel like the relationship is at a hard place. Ten of Wands is here. Ten of Wands, a card that's below the word present. A heavy burden, difficult. Yeah, it's going to feel like the connection is getting really tense. So, just be aware. There could be some, some blow up or disagreement. The Five of Swords can be about being mad. So, someone could be getting angry about something. Or maybe the argument or disagreement is going to make you very upset. And there's going to be tension in the connection. It's going to start to feel heavy. Yeah. So, that's what's coming up for you and your person. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. we got judgment and it's with the Five of Pentacles. Now, this judgment card, the card that's above the word challenge, it can be about jumping to conclusions, making decisions too hastily, having a hard time offering forgiveness, jumping to conclusions, and of course, judgments that are made too hastily. So this fight or this argument or whatever this Five of Swords is for you and your person, where somebody gets really mad, um, it's going to lead to someone being very judgmental. Or being judgmental could be what this conflict is about. Maybe someone is just a very judgmental type. Or you or your person is the type that jumps to a lot of conclusions. This fight or conflict could be about that. And judgment can also cause a make or break in the connection. So you have to be really careful when you see this card, judgment, 
in a reading, it, it's indicating that with the Five of Pentacles here, the card that's below the word challenge, you could cause your person to f start to feel less than secure about the connection. Or they could start to make you feel that way. So like I said, this is definitely a challenge because like I said, with these two cards showing up here for your challenge, yeah, tread lightly. Just be careful if you don't want to lose this person because someone could start to feel like the connection is not secure. Five of Pentacles can be about can be about that. It can also be about feeling left out in the cold. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Ace of Wands and it's with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is actually beautiful. Um, whenever you see the King of Cups, that's the card below the word outcome. Whenever you see this, the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in the tarot, that's a lot of love there. So there's a lot of love in this connection. King or Queen of Cups is about love, kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what the situation is, when you get these two cards in a reading. So, King of Cups, someone has um, their emotions invested. This could be you, your person, or maybe the both of you. Yeah, your emotions are in this. You're, you've got a lot of love for your person, Virgo. So, you could be reaching out to them, offering your cup of love. Yeah, what's in the King of Cups cup is, is love. There's pure and true love there. Yeah. You could be wanting a fresh new start again or, or a new beginning. There's the ace. There's that ace again. The ace can be about a new beginning. So you could be trying to convince your person, well, let's just, um, do away with just with with let's just do away with what just happened. Just talk about it and work through it, and then let's f let it go. Yeah, and just have a fresh new start again. Ace of Wands is a powerful, passionate new beginning, and it can bring new beginnings on several levels. It's possible. Powerful new beginning. It, like, it, it, the Ace of Wands, it, it's powerful and fast. It kind of like shouts at you or bursts in front of you. Yeah, and it brings about a lot of passion. So, the two of you will come together really nicely. Yeah, like they say, some, some couples, they break up just to make up. This could be one of those type of situations. Some people fight just to make up. Because Ace of Wands can be about a lot of passion. Very explosive. And it brings about a new beginning. Or it can start to feel like another fresh new start. So, Virgo, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings... They do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there 
It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I do hope you come back and join me for the next Virgo reading, which will be in another which will be in about another four or five days, just in case this reading did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.